The story I'm about to share with you guys is absolutely abhorrent and it breaks me to tell it, but I think it's important to get it out there. Um, so here we go. In Las Vegas, Nevada at Clark High School, a boy who is autistic, nonverbal, and visibly Jewish because he wears a yarmulke was attacked presumably by fellow students' classmates and a swastika was carved into his back. Because of this boy's situation, he does have a helper at school, and when questioned, the helper wouldn't tell him anything. There's also no one coming forward and no security or surveillance footage of what happened. On top of that, since the boy is autistic and nonverbal, he's not able to explain what happened also. What is known is that it happened at school, and the kid obviously didn't do that to himself. On top of the mutilation that they did to his body, his service dog also has an equipment pack which was clearly tampered with and even torn. As of now, it is being investigated as a hate crime and the FBI is aware of the situation and is in contact with local authorities and they are just waiting for evidence to show that there was a civil rights violation so that the FBI can then take over the case and it becomes a federal charge. But here's my question. How fucked up does somebody have to be to attack a disabled child over their religious beliefs? It's sick and it's disgusting.